You're very welcome back. Now, within a few weeks, he went from being Mr. Dublin to one of the most talked about celebrities who found love in the celeb Big Brother house with actress Stephanie Davis. Both of them have been in the headlines every day since, but it was a terrible family tragedy that made him decide, you know what, I'm going to live life to the max. Jeremy, great to have you on the show. That's a crack, guy. Before we chat about uh, Big Brother and all that, take us back to when you were 15, because you didn't have it easy, to say the least. Yeah, no, when I was 15, I had a, there was a few tragic deaths in the family in the space of a year to a year and a half. I lost my mum, brother and sister just within, within that small time frame. So. Mm -hmm. It seems so. incredible that that could happen. Your mother was 46 years mm. old. How did she die? She had a brain, uh, a berry aneurysm. It's like yeah. a brain hemorrhage. So it was instant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was in my cousin's house um, and I had another cousin down the road. And I remember my mum just going to sleep on the couch. And uh, I was just like, I'm just going up to pop up the catch and who's the other cousin? And then I remember just getting back and... I just went in and there was a big scuffle in the house and she was gone. Like, and I remember she obviously had a seizure, piss, wet, wet the couch and that, and that's where, that's where she just got taken from. So the last time I saw her was there and then she was gone the next time, about an hour later. So it was that, it was that quick. And you, you, and your, you and your mum had a great bond all the time, you, great friends. Yeah, well, she brought me up. My mum and dad separated when I was, when I was younger. And uh, yeah, me and my mum lived in Bray. There's a bit of cold shame, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can see she that. She raised you the whole time. But then yeah. your brother, he, he tragically died in a motorcycle accident. He, he broke accident. his neck on a motorbike then shortly after that. Yeah, so what that age was, was he? Sudden, uh, he would have been about 28. Oh, my God. And then your sister? Yeah, she it was my half-sister. She had um, yeah, she, she had a heart attack as well. So it was, it was just on the space time, you know, I try not to bring it up all the time, but it's, it's trying to... Yeah. Some people ask about tattoos and the way you go on about your life. I'm a bit mad, so I think it all stems from that. So, yeah, it's... It's, it's just part of me, isn't it? So yeah. I have to explain it as well. So. Yeah. We were yeah. chatting to Leslie there and Michael a while ago about how Leslie said, of course, she lost her mum 15 years ago and this time of year is hard for her. Do you find this time of year coming I up always, to Mother's Day? I always do. It was her birthday on the 20th of February and then mine's the 22nd, so I always get a bit emotional over it. But. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose it's, it's sometimes easier for a woman or it's more acceptable for women to share their emotions. So would you feel yeah. you've, you've become more open as life went yeah, down? Yeah, a little bit. I always just try and, you know, just say how it is and that, but... It's, uh, it's always something that you can't really help, isn't it? I know. So it's, it's, it's made you the person you are, but let's, let's move on to Big Brother. And mm. as Dolly said there, I mean, you really are in the headlines every second of every day. Mm -hmm. So in the Big Brother house, first of all, how did you find it? Yeah, it was interesting. Uh, I went there and obviously as a single lad, and I think a lot of people tried to, or like they, they were saying that it was going to be a different character because, you know, I've been on reality shows on MTV before where it was a bit, bit more boisterous maybe, you know, yeah. and being a lad, but you know, obviously I met Steph in the house and I kind of calmed down and I think people got to see that other side of me. I think a lot when you break up with people in the past, everyone's been in love and had that first love and I mm -hmm. think that made me a bit wild again, but then when you meet someone you like, you obviously have that, you take that front down and you, you're the person you are to them. And yeah. Yeah, were the producers going, oh no, because like you were sent to a good looking Dublin fella who came out looking ugly. <laughs> It was full of crack. Like yeah. they, you were sent in for a reason, I suppose, just mm. to shake the whole place up in yeah. one sense as well. I think that's what the lads were expecting anyway. Like my boys over there, even they were just like, "Oh, he's gonna go in and, yeah. and run him up." Like, but and did you like her instantly? Was it love at first sight? With Steph, um, we had an instant attraction. I wouldn't say love because she had a boyfriend at the time. Of course, so Sam Reese, isn't I, it? Yeah. So yeah. That would not stop you from falling. Don't say his Lord name Lord. anymore. He's got enough <laughs> press. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Yeah. No, but I was kind of like we actually just bonded as friends and. Now, the love I have for the girl now, and we've obviously been through, we're going to talk about it, obviously it's mad stuff, but yeah, yeah she's, there she's a striker. There was talks of an affair, wasn't there? That, that, yeah. Was she accusing you of having an affair? Or what happened, I wouldn't call it an affair, what happened was, when I, I, was, I was evicted a week, a week, and, no, was a week and a half, I think, before yeah. the finale, so I get out, and I was saying to Steph, I was, she had a boyfriend in the house, and the, what we had was real, it wasn't a showman, so it was nothing like that. But because people you were accused you of this, it, I know uh, Katie <sighs> Price did. Yeah, okay, you can't women. talk, can she? No, <laughs> she, she said no, this. She's, she's said like it. put this up to the two of you and said, yeah. this is, is this a showman, as you call it? You know, what me and Steph has, 110% is totally real. And I, I put my hand on my heart and say that. We've gone through massive media stuff. There's people outside our houses, the stress of it. You know, I haven't, I haven't slept since I've been in the house. My emotions are sky high, but you know, I don't make excuses. What happened that night was when I got evicted, I had a, um, you get personal appearances, I'm booked out in personal appearances. I good, went down yeah. to Newcastle. I was ended up with a girl that night, but this was before me and Steph finally got into a relationship, do you know what I mean? In my head, she had a boyfriend. We are going to talk when, when she got out, mm -hmm. and that's just the honest truth. So you, you were know? with someone that night? I was night. with someone that night, And yeah. is that the same girl that then Stephanie got in touch with via yeah. Twitter and asked her girl to girl to say, is this that true? Was, that's the same girl. So that's yeah. true mm -hmm. then? Yeah. Did you deny this in the beginning? I didn't deny it, no. It's just, it kind of happened at the time, and I didn't. Okay, you didn't want to talk about it. But like, in my head, you I was... You just didn't admit it. No, well, not admit yeah. it, but in my head, I was like, Stephanie had her own issues. Yeah. I was doing my thing. I wanted to breathe when I got out of house and do... It's such a stressful environment, you know? She was. 
she was talking to Sam at the time and trying to sort things out. We were both single, so. But, and you're doing this in front of the whole world in one sense, then as well. No, no, I, you know, I'll say, so I'll, I'll say how it is, you know, but you know, it doesn't stop what it what half like her. Since I've been with Stephanie, yeah. I've never yeah. heard her. Mm -hmm. You know, we went together. I didn't know if she was going to go off with Sam after that. What was I to do? Just yeah. You so know? then it ended up that you were kind of back together again. Or were you? You I'm see, this sounds. You see, if I, was, I said this on Loose Women, if I looked at this from the outside, I'd be like, "Will you get out of that relationship, both of you? These are yeah. two, it's a toxic relationship. There's arguments happening, but you don't understand when you're in that. This, the media eye is killing us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I haven't got a chance. My emotions are sky high. It's 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 just mental, you know. So yeah. even it, those headlines there now, these are yeah. the kind of things. But you see them every, every day, day, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, I think they, yeah. some headline said I was out on a romantic date with David Guest one night. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. On that note, you know what, I mean? like, what can you do? How did you get on with him? What do you think of him? David Guest, I said in the diary room, if you put the most mental ingredients uh, or characteristics into a cocktail, that is David Guest. I can't even, words can't describe what that man is. He said I was his best friend. I was like, you cannot have Michael Jackson as your best friend woman and then have a bum from Ireland as your best friend. It just doesn't go, mate. I was yeah. like, oh no, he was mad. Like he used to, I was, he used to inject cortisone mm. into his scars and all during the gaff and he'd be bleeding. I'd be like, what are you doing, son? You and Michael yeah. Jackson, chill out. Like, yeah. he, was just, he, just, he was very kind of like, he was very audacious. Yeah. David yeah. Guest. Okay. Yeah. Just going back to Stephanie, I suppose, because people will be wondering, is it still on or is it off? Or well, what's the situation? I, I don't know. You know. Stephanie's in New York at the moment and um, I just said, I think she, the way she put it is that she split up with me. But... Um, Okay. No, I'm the type of person I'm going to be there for. She's going through counselling at the moment mm -hmm. for her own issues. Our relationship is a, I can't, it's not private, but there's things that we don't know that are happening in this relationship. Um, and would and you like to stay with her? Do you I feel... love the girl to bits. Yes. You don't break up with someone that is going through stuff like that. You stay together and work. Mm -hmm. That's part of the reason I'm being on here and I'm being honest with people because I know it's no one's business, but when you're in this Twitter and you're in this Instagram and, and stupidly we both put up stuff, I'm explaining to people what it's like. And mm -hmm. if they can understand what it's like for both of us, we need time to... Without of all course. this speculation, it's really hard, but I do love the girl, and it was, wasn't a showman's, and that's, that's because, the honest. I've never the, heard her, though, since I've been with the girl. I love her to bits. Because yeah. the show itself is, is so strange, because you're inside <sighs> the house with people you don't really know at all, and you're put into a situation that you'll never be in again, so that's not real life. Sure, so I wouldn't not. say that, my big brother might be, <laughs> he might be raising the fee to get us back. It's just, you don't, <laughs> like, it's... I went in there to have a laugh, and the way it has happened, my feet haven't touched the ground. I've been working. I got two days off since I've been out. I think. Yeah. But you're off now. I know you're off to the UK yeah. again. I'm off to Manchester doing... tomorrow. Yeah. 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 So doing appearances everywhere. I have sports relief tomorrow. I'm playing football. Like I used to play a lot when I was yeah. growing up. So my you feet have probably right, stopped yeah. working. And I did say that I have a touch like Gary Brain, as they say. Yeah, oh God, listen. <laughs> but, uh, you won't thank you for that one. <laughs> I'll delete my Instagram. Right? It's no. live. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Well, um, I thought the show hadn't started. Yeah, I, thought yeah, this yeah. Was, I thought this was the briefing. We're just <laughs> hanging. Well, you've been very mild for the briefing, fair no, play. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, fair play. To, well, well done. Well done, great, first of all. Okay. You know, and mm. you really are. You are very honest. And this, look, so this is the way know. people live life in social mm. media, and, and sometimes there are consequences to that. Yeah, exactly. That's you why know? I think it's just important to tell people. Again, it's up to me and Steph to keep it quiet, but that's just my honest view. I love the girl to bits. I'm, cool. I'm going to try and work on it. We'll keep, we'll keep reading the, the headlines. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.